What is up everybody? Thank you so much for joining me. One thing to know about me is that I love basketball. One of the greatest basketball players of all time was Kobe Bryant, who tragically passed away a couple months ago. But Kobe was one of the best players of all time. He was an amazing scorer. He could shoot lights out. He could cut to the basket and dunk. He was very creative with the ball. But what he was best known for is what's called the Mamba mentality. What is that? Basically, like few other players, Kobe had this determination, this intensity. He had this grit that he was going to do his very best and give his all no matter what the circumstances were. Literally and metaphorically, he left it all on the court every day. And as followers of Jesus, when it comes to our faith, there's something that we can glean from that, especially during this season that we're in right now. The last couple of weeks, I've been reading through the book of Daniel. Daniel was a great man of God, and he had an incredible ability to interpret dreams and visions. He was a prophet. Now, Daniel lived during the reign of some ruthless kings, which often put Daniel in harsh, seemingly impossible circumstances, one of the most famous being when he was thrown into the lion's den for a night. The thing that sticks out to me about him is this. In Daniel chapter 6, verses 3 and 4, it tells us that Daniel was distinguished above all others and his enemies could find no fault in him because he had an excellent spirit and he was faithful. Daniel had an amazing ability and he served the king. He knew important people. But in everything that he did, in the midst of storms and facing death, he was glorified and God was glorified. And it was simply because Daniel was faithful. During the season, I don't know what troubles you're facing. Maybe it's health issues, maybe it's problems with your job or unemployment, maybe it's finances or family issues. Maybe it's not really any of those and you're just tired of Zoom. Look, no matter what your circumstances are, remember, we are called to have grit in our faith. I wanna challenge you with this question. How are you using your faith to set yourself apart during this COVID season? And I wanna encourage you, no matter what your circumstances are, be consistent in connecting with God and those around you, your family, your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers. Be persistent and growing in those relationships and be bold in serving.